stars and Outlander dispute took toll on Altus' profits. When Altus removed stars due to negotiations dispute, Outlander fans were among the most vocal and active. That dispute took its toll on the Altus profits, but is it now all over? January 1st was a dark day for Altus customers. The company had failed to come to negotiations with Stars over a deal to license the channel and that meant all customers lost their access. Outlander fans around the U.S. on the Altus networks were instantly angry and upset, being some of the most vocal over the decision. It seems they were also among the most active by voting with their feet and leaving the service for others that still hit stars as an option. Altus has shared its profits for the first quarter of the year, showing a small 1.2% growth. The growth is possibly mostly from the internet customers, as the pay TV customers dropped by a total of 30,000 in that first quarter. While this is less than the 2017 Q1 losses, it's still a large amount and suggests that more than they expected wanted stars access. What wouldn't have helped was Verizon telling customers to switch because of the stars dispute. This would have pressured some customers into leaving Altus before the company had a chance to make things right. Stars also took advantage of an increase in subscribers directly to their online app. During January, the network chose to air an Outlander marathon with a season 4 teaser. Altus customers needed some way to access that without their service. There were also complaints from customers as Altus did nothing through their email support, according to some customers in Outlander Facebook groups. They needed to phone to get better deals on their subscription packages. That dispute is now over. We'll see next quarter if Altus landing a better deal with stars than before we'll see an uptick in subscriptions and customers. Were you previously an Altus subscriber? Did you leave because of the dispute? Share your thoughts in the comments below.